What's going on everybody? It's Brendan, Dad Planet. Welcome back to the One Man Show. So I'm gonna give you one guess where I am this morning and if you guessed the Goodwill outlet, you would have been correct. So I'm here in my local market and if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that every now and then when I do a Goodwill haul video, I let you choose an item right out of my cart and I ship it to you absolutely free. Well, I'm feeling generous this morning. So that's what we are going to do. You and I are gonna go in there, we're gonna shop until we drop, hopefully find a bunch of goods to resell on eBay for a very small dollar amount and then you get to choose any item that you want and I'm gonna send it to you absolutely free because I love you. Actually, it's not free. You have to be a subscriber. You gotta hit the like button and you have to leave me a comment. But once you do all three of those things, it's totally free and there are no stipulations to this. At any rate, I probably need another couple of sips of coffee. I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna go shopping. Let's go. All right, let's head into the Goodwill bins, or as I like to call it, clothing on death row, and see if we can find anything to resell. It's looking like it could be a pretty successful trip here. So I'm gonna hit clothing first. And one of the items that I come upon here early on in this little excursion is a rain suit here. So I think this is an Air Force issued rain suit. The brand is, if I remember correctly, Orc Industries. I'll, we'll take a look at it right here. Yeah, Orc Industries. It's a size small, but luckily there's a couple of comps in the $25 to $30 range. It looks like those are traditional tiger stripes. This thing is huge for a small, but this is a good find because it's a little bit light and with a couple of good comparables to go on. I'm going to price this at $30. I do a little bit more military gear. The more I learn about it, it's not something I'm totally familiar with, but that was a pretty fun find again because it's not going to cost me a ton because they're actually, even though they're light, they're pretty well made. So don't be afraid to check out military gear. I'm becoming a little bit more comfortable with it and that will turn out to be a successful sale once it is sold. So gonna move over to another bin here I kind of like this shirt but it was like branded or something on the uh, other side of it so we passed up on that athletic shirt but this is cool here so this is a Jordan brand Gatorade shirt I have never seen this before but it's cool because it's got like the jump band on the side of one arm and then it says be like Mike on the other arm it's a size mediums it's like a men's medium and I think I can get $25 for this there are some good sold comparables to go on for this shirt as well and you always got to be careful when you're sourcing white at the goodwill bins because you know sometimes there are stains that will show up where you may have missed them before so you have to pay a little bit closer attention when the garments are lighter but at least you know in this location i i am always preaching that so and you'll, you'll hear me talk about that a little bit more here as we uh as we continue to move on so it started to fill up pretty quickly after the doors opened here and sometimes you have to dig to find brands like I don't know what brand this was it didn't really identify itself it the quality on that garment felt good like those leggings felt good but I have a winner right here in the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker t-shirt so that back graphic that was on the back you could see it really clearly and you have this really beautiful like stained glass mosaic design with link on the front it's a Delta Pro weight obviously size small as you can see right there down towards the bottom, I think it says 2008 from Nintendo, but this is a f absolutely fabulous shirt and it's definitely worth $30 to me. So I'm gonna take that one as well. I like the fact that it is a size small. Wind Waker as a game was released in 2002. So that shirt would have been, you know, six years after. If it was a 2008, it could have been 2006. I don't know. But Zelda is sort of an evergreen brand from Nintendo. They are going to release Breath of the Wild 2 here at the beginning of next year. So there will be a little bit more renewed interest in it. But right away, I kind of like those three items. And I haven't really been sourcing hard goods in this location lately. I've been getting more clothing related items. But I'm going to check the hard goods here. And I see something that I've sold in the past. So this is a VTech. Lightning McQueen laptop. Now the thing you wanna pay attention to on this is sometimes when you power it up, the screen will have lines on it. It's like those old Game Boys. You have to pay attention to that. So I'm gonna open this up and check the battery compartment just to make sure there's no like obscene corroding because I can fix some corrosion, but there are none here. So I've already taken this home. I've already tested it. It works 
the little tire mouse also works and the screen doesn't have any lines on it. So I've sold this in the past, I think for $30 and I'm going to be listing that one for $30 as well. So it's always great when you find a, not necessarily a replenishable, but an item that you sold in the past that still has good sell through rate, like an item like that does. So I'm happy with that as well, especially since the, um, <laughs> I've always loved these pictures of the, kids you find a lot of that in the in the bins but especially since you know uh hard goods are kind of hard to come by at least for me in this location it's nice to find something that i've sold before and i'm pretty confident will also sell again so just digging through to uh hopefully find something that maybe somebody skipped over because we're already a little bit past here and these have been really picked over at this point this looks like hogwarts and i think it was battery operated and i feel like maybe there should have been more to it I don't really know. I think it was kind of battery operated. I don't I don't remember exactly. But I think it also needed another piece to it or another component and I didn't see that so I left that behind, but I do like the uh, Harry Potter items, so keep moving along here. Dig through that um was like the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Bunch of corks. Do people collect corks? I mean, is that worth anything? This item definitely is, though. See, I love picking up routers. This is an Xfinity router. The model on this one is XB6-T. I looked up the comps, and even for parts, because you can see I don't have the cord, right? But I do have one at home that would fit this, so I can test this. But even for parts untested, these sell for $30. But if you can get it and power it up and make sure that it's uh, at least working somewhat properly, they sell anywhere from $50 to $90. So that's a fantastic find. And again, I've, I've already gotten that home and tested it and powered it up. It all works properly. And so you are getting the benefit of seeing a lot of these items here, but there were a couple of items, a couple of categories, shoes, for example, and hats that I wasn't able to film. It just, it gets so competitive and I don't have my GoPro mounted to me. So you're gonna get to see every single thing towards the end. Does anybody recognize these? I don't know what they are. If they're worth $30,000, uh, I made a mistake and left them there, so please let me know if I did, but I didn't recognize those. This is obviously Pokemon. I always love hunting for Pokemon cards, and this is like from the XY Evolutions set from 2016. It's just funny because my daughter and I are always looking for those. Um, but like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of shoe footage here, and that Nano X would have been awesome if I could have found the other one, but I couldn't, so... I'm just showing you some of the aftermath, but here's some of the items. Now, this shoe looks pretty dirty, but I've already put it through the wash again. When we get to the end, you're going to get to see all of these up close and personal. So I did find some really nice pairs of shoes and some really nice hats, but it's just too hard to film that and um, grab at the same time. So we'll go back into the picked over bins. This had some damage. These New Balance shoes are pretty cool. I think they may have been may have been 574s. This Nike here, if it wasn't white, infinity something or other, I, I would have probably um, taken a chance on it because I washed so many shoes, but that white, I didn't. I wasn't gonna mess with that at all. So I passed up on that pair. Rika is not a brand that I pick up a ton of. We have a single Converse, lots of Converse turn up. And I know that Converse is super popular, but I don't pick up every pair. I'm pretty selective, but the pair that I did pick up this trip, you're going to uh, be pretty surprised at what the value was of them. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up here in just a second. Nice pair, well, nice single shoe van here. Lots of single shoes this trip. All right, we're gonna continue on over to the clothing. This is interesting because I've never seen this brand before. Jung Maven, Jung Maven. So this shirt is 45% cotton. 55% hemp, and it is a size large. There are actually some really good comps on this shirt for really good money. So this is looking like $30 to me. I'm gonna price it at 30 bucks based on the comparables that I did see. And this is a brand, again, that I'm totally unfamiliar with. It is American made organic cotton. So that was a pretty cool find. And then if you guys had seen me in one of my recent What's Sold videos, I just sold a Burton Ronin style like samurai ski coat. This is sort of along those lines as well. So this is Fox. It's a Fox Tech FX180. There is an actual comp from the, for this exact jacket. I don't remember what the size was, but I'll put it on the screen for you for $75 with around 20 shipping. I think that's sold at the end of March. But this jacket 
and it actually looks like based on the sleeve looks like there's some dirt but when I got it into the natural light it's actually very very clean so that little cosmetic blemish can be cleaned up really quickly but I'm gonna start hitting coats really hard so this was an amazing find with a sold comp at $75 at the end of March I'm gonna shoot for between 75 and 100 even though this is a size medium because of its overall condition and the fact that uh, you know coat season is upon us here so this was really clean on the inside an amazing find again at the top of the market 100 bucks that's probably what i would list it at this is a white house black market is it white house black market something like that nice little jacket very very clean i didn't pick it up i don't i don't I mean, it could have been a mistake but um i just left that behind the shirts here let's see what else we're going to turn up here so you've seen a few items but the reality of this trip was when you start adding up all of the shoes and the hats i think i came away with just over 30 items and it turned out to be a really good haul so we're going to go take a look on my back porch at all of the items that i did source and you'll be surprised at how much ground I covered here in a very short amount of time. So a very exciting trip as always, but let's take a look at the rest of the stuff. Okay, we'll do hats first, we'll do shoes next, and then we'll do the rest of the clothing that I didn't get on film. So this area here, just like a club head cover, Callaway Maverick, nothing special here. This is probably $10 and um, they sell pretty frequently, but there's a ton listed. So we'll see how that goes. This is a really nice vineyard, vines, green, wine, tie, Someone in one of my comments said, don't pass up on the ties. So uh, shout out to you. I don't remember what your name was, but thank you for that. I grabbed this. This is actually going to probably sell between 20 and $25. So that was a pretty good pickup. Very, very light. And um, yeah, doing what, doing what you told me to do. Next here is a Pittsburgh Steelers hat. This hat is brand new. The brand is 47. That's between 20 and $25 right there. The next, I've never heard of this resort before. Nizik, I think this is in Cancun. Just a navy blue hat. There are none of these listed, so it will be sort of a guess what this will sell at. I'm gonna say between 20 and $30 for that one. Next is a Titleist hat, yellow, probably 15 on that one. Same with this one. This is just a youth 950 San Antonio Spurs hat. Very colorful, pretty cool, $15. Titleist bucket hat. These actually sell really well, all between the um, $20 to $30 range. I've seen some sell as high as $30. I'll probably meet this in the middle at $25. It's a size large to extra large, so that was a good find. And then these still need to be washed and cleaned, but they are obviously Cleveland Indians. Chief Wahoo Winter Gloves. The brand on this is GCC. I'll put these through the wash, but there won't be any listed, so I'm not gonna have any competition on these. Uh, we're going to call these ones $25 as well. All right, let's go to the shoes. First pair here is Nike Comfort Footbed Thong Sandals. These are This is a really popular style, and the fact that it's a women's size 12 makes it, I think, a little bit more desirable. So all of these, by the way, have already all been through the wash. I'm still drying out the insoles on these ones. We'll talk about those next. Um, these will actually sell between $20 and $25. They're in pretty decent condition here, and um, the soles don't look too bad at all so that was a good find i'm always picking those up because they're super light next is a pair of all birds tree skippers these are a men's size 10 and i'm just drying out the insoles right now but this is a pretty good pickup right here i don't know if you guys can see that the inside still need to be cleaned out 40 dollars for those next is onitsuka tiger these are a women's size 7 really nice colorway these will actually sell between $35 and $30. There was a sold comp, I think, around that same price range. Same style for size eight and a half. So these are a seven. So $30 to $35 for those. And then look at these Jack Purcells. They're still drying. But if you can see this, see how this shoe like looks like it's yellow along the side? These are a size, what size are they? They're a size men's 11. A size men's 10 and a half. This exact style and colorway just sold for $60 with free shipping. So these are actually 50 bucks because I charge my customer shipping. So $50 for these Jack Purcells. They are a John Varvatos. I don't know if you can see that on the um, insole right there. Collaboration. And so they have pretty unique insoles here, or excuse me, soles, limited edition. Those are pretty cool find. Next is a pair of Nike Waffle Trainers. 
they say if you so what you are an athlete if you have a body on the sides pretty clean insoles good looking soles this is probably again 25 to 30 dollars here next is a pair of nike air max 270 reacts soles look pretty good these sell very well brand new over a hundred dollars usually you got a little bit of a rub mark here i'm going to price these between 35 and 40 dollars here but this is a nice a really nice pair those will definitely sell and then this pair here has a little bit of damage these are called nike daybreaks and you can see right here it's coming apart a little bit i may try to fix this but if i don't the fact that the soles are in such nice condition um, if somebody's willing to um, put up with that and some of the wear on the tops i think i can still sell these for about twenty dollars so it just depends on if i decide to try to fix that or not because there are ways to fix that and get that to stick properly um, so what do we have here two four six seven pairs pretty good haul there and last but not least the rest of the clothing there are no comps on this shirt but it's an ecm records t-shirt that i thought was interesting i think this guy is a russian composer i'm not really sure i got to do a little bit more research i'm not really sure what to price this at because there won't be any sold comps just based on the initial research that i did so really, really don't know about that next is a pair of eddie bauer ebb tech uh, nylon shorts i believe these are vintage they're a men's size small um, but these sell pretty well so i'm gonna list these at between anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars just depending on what the comparables are but it's like fishing shorts again they're uh they're pretty clean they look they look really nice so light easy to ship next pair here yes you are looking at a pair of coach underwear coach boxer briefs these are brand new never worn the tag is like kind of coming off here but style c 6367 i believe these are double xl they only sell their underwear in like small medium large extra large so on and so forth so you got to pair these together like two or three of them in a box it'd be like anywhere from 70 to 90 dollars so 30 bucks is what i would list those at again absolutely brand new next is vineyard vines this is just a youth medium 10 12 i think whale pullover sorry i'm trying to get the size here yeah 10 12 pocketed on the front with the whale and then whale on the back with vineyard vines down the side cute pickup i don't usually do a ton of youth clothing but i like that brand so next salty dog cafe i sell a ton of these shirts every year this is 15 bucks there's nothing special it's on a hanes beefy tea tag it's a men's size large maybe royal blue is the color and then the big graphic on the back it's got a little bit you know of wear but that has never really um deterred me in the past and they still they sell so well so frequently for me so easy 15 dollars there um avalanche jacket i this may have been a good pickup it may not have been it's in really nice condition but i don't know that this is a great brand but this thing is so clean this is also a what size do we have here a size medium i mean 20 to 25 dollars for this there's nothing uh again nothing special about it it's not to the level of quality or respect that i have for a brand like patagonia or even to a lesser extent north face maybe eddie bauer but um very very usable so i'll price that pretty aggressively and then pizza planet i sell a few of these shirts every year this is a size 2xl again nothing nothing special going on here toy story pixar 2xl that's probably 10 10 to 12 bucks but that's it that covers everything there all right let's crunch some numbers really quickly so i bought a total of 29 items that trip and i spent just under 50 bucks 49.14 to be exact and if i'm lucky enough to get my total full asking price value for everything listed it comes to just under 900 dollars 881 to be exact so it's about what, 30 dollars per item but the more important thing is you get to pick one of those and i'm going to send it to you absolutely free so you know the drill subscribe hit the like button and then leave me a comment let me know what it is you want and i'm going to send it off to you brendan here dad planet the one man show hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the dad planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time i upload a video to youtube i hope you enjoyed that that's all i got for you i'll see you in the next video